Um, Alex, you're on, on the way to your third half um, for a young player. Does it make you feel like a veteran already in the national team? Um, no, I want to say I'm a veteran. I'd like to hope that there's more competitions for me to participate in. But the fact that this would be my third one, I could say I'd be experienced, especially the last one, which was a lot of party for me. But um, yeah, I'm excited, hopefully, to go further than I did in the previous two in this competition. You had a chance to represent England, right? Yeah. But you chose Nigeria. I mean, a lot of persons believe that players who choose Nigeria do that because they perhaps can find a place in the European national teams. Do, do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I was selected to play for England 21s or go to Nigeria's on the 23s. And I wanted to see what it was like to play for or represent Nigeria. So I went on trial to Nigeria on the 23s and I felt more at home. It wasn't the case of being selected or not because I did speak with um, it was Roy Hodgson at the time. He did message me through Gareth Southgate saying that they wanted me to play 21. But I thought, let me go and experience and play for Nigeria, see what it was like. And I felt like, because I've grown up in a Nigerian culture, Nigerian background, I felt more at home playing for Nigeria. So when you see a Nigerian born abroad, what would you say to him? Go play for Nigeria or if you... What, 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 would, you, what would be your advice? Um, take your time. I mean, whether the path is for you, it's for you. I'm not going to force on anyone to play for Nigeria. But of course, like I can only show or share my experience that I feel I always have respect for England, but I felt more at home there for Nigeria. But everyone's path is different. Yes, let's talk about position. In the national team, <laughs> some of us feel that they've not found the right place to put you in the Super Eagles. How do you think you like to play? Uh, my most comfortable position is playing in the number eight. But um, one thing that's good for me, or well, it's probably helped my career that I've been able to play in numerous positions. I've been able to play out wide, I've played in the middle, I've played strike at one point, I've played left, back, right. Wherever the manager thinks is best for me to play to help the team, I think that's the best solution. But I feel like I'm most effective when I play as a number eight. Okay. The coach said yesterday that goalkeepers have come on that serious attacks and it's kind of affect your confidence. What, how do you feel about this type of attack coming from Nigerian fans whenever things don't go well with the national team? Um, well, the main thing for us is to encourage anyone, encourage whether it's the goalkeeper or the builder, because you know what quality they have, otherwise they would not be getting called up for Nigeria. And the only thing I can say to Nigerian fans is to try and support each and every player. Every player is trying to do their best, not just for themselves, but the, the rest of Nigerians that they represent themselves. It's not right to scrutinise anyone, but of course people know when they've made mistakes, they'll be, they'll be the first ones to own up. But the, be the best thing to do is motivate and encourage to go and fight again and to put things right. Okay, on a very light note, you said you grew up in Nigerian culture and you know that the hairstyle you have can make a Nigerian parent a bit iffy. Yeah, of course. Of <laughs> what did course. your parents say about your hairstyle? <laughs> so, this hairstyle that I have right now, I've been growing it since for seven years. Oh, wow. When I was first growing it, off it always start, always starts, so it started with like your hair, it started off calm. But then the longer it got, my parents were growing into it, growing into it. It's only when I decided to add colour ah, okay. that my parents first, I thought, they thought, you know, it's a bit wild. But now they've, especially me, because at first when I had this hairstyle, um, I was getting a lot of like, maybe say a lot of hate on the media wow. and they were not really saying that I'm performing well, that I'm distracted but me, I'm not someone that really looks at the media yes. and my parents have now discovered that, that I'm brave <laughs> enough to do whatever I want and express myself and me, I like to express, I like to remain happy so whatever makes me happy is how, like, that's why my hair's like this and they've come to terms with that and now my parents, they, they do like the hair they say don't, don't do the colour Good move then, yeah. I didn't know your brand identity, this is what I'm saying um, I guess so. I mean, everyone now knows me on the one with the coloured dreadlocks. So yeah, it's, it's you can always say it's part of my image now. Exactly. Hey, what type of music do you enjoy? Um, I listen to all sorts of music. I like to dabble in all sorts of music, whether it's R and B, rap, feel, Afro beats, dancehall. I like to listen to all sorts of music because it depends on your mood. Depends. Yeah. Like if I'm going into a match, I like to listen to something a bit more upbeat. If I'm chilling, I like to listen to something a bit slower. So I do like to listen to all sorts of music. You attend a lot of the concerts by Nigerian artists in England. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one of them is your favorite? Um, 
I'm just gonna go to my recent one. I went to a whiskey performance where you yeah. performed in um, Tottenham. Yes, and, uh, yeah, I, I I really enjoyed myself as people saw my Snapchat. I really yeah. enjoyed myself. And you met him? No, I didn't get to meet him that day, but I have met him uh, previous times, and he's a very nice guy, and like a very oh. humble guy. Honest question: Did he recognize you when you met him? Did he know that? Hey, this is Alex. You as in the first time I met him. Yeah. Um, I think the first time I met him was. We had a Nike shoot before the World oh, Cup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. I think that was the first time I met him. FC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he did know who I was at the time, and he showed me nothing but love. I've seen him numerous times. I've seen him in a Nike store. I've seen him even in a club as well. And he's always shown me so much love, and he's someone I really respect. And I hope that he has the best going for him because uh, he's, he's like a real brother to me. Final question: Would you delve into music after football? Because I see you like music. I do like my music. I do like my music. It's something I'm probably even yeah, doing now. So I'll just say stay, stay tuned. You might see something soon. Thank you, Alex. No problem. Yes, all the best.